Hi everyone, I'm Tom and today I'm going to be playing Second Chance, which is a Tetris shaped drawing game by Uwe Rosenberg. Similarly, this is kind of part two to Patchwork Doodle, although this one we can't all play together. You can watch that one, we can all play together if you like. So we start off in a similar fashion with a card with a shape that we have to draw has to overlap the circle in the middle of the sheet and from then we have a deck that is filled with these possible shapes and we will get a choice of two each turn and we have to draw one of those and the second chance in the title is basically your second chance if you ever can't draw a shape you get to draw one more card from the deck that's your second chance if you can draw it great you can carry on if not you are out of the game and it carries on without you like if we both stay until the end it's the person who filled in the most shapes if we both get knocked out, like if, if you do get knocked out first, you can write a little one in that covers up a blank space and means you're first in terms of a tiebreak. Marty is at Butlins having a little holiday for the summer, so Rachel's here to stand in. That is what they tell me. So let's get started. We just draw two cards and we pick one of them and draw it in. I've got a... There, there are some ones here. I've started out with a gap in the middle of my sheet. They are sheet. almost exactly identical. Yeah. What are these pieces? And and they don't fit in well with my thing at all. I think at the risk risk of making another little one square in my uh, grid, I think I'm just going to... Now, you can rotate it and you can flip them and everything all you like, but you cannot overlap or draw it outside the grid or something. And you don't have to draw next to anything. You can do completely separate if you want. So I think I'm going to do... Okay, so there we go. Round one complete. Round two. So this one could be good, quite like mirrored in mine. If I do it this way around, quite happy with that. I've only left one extra gap. I was forced to start with one, so that's good going. I think. Reaches in, and so we've got. And so, you know, in, in terms of staying in, it might have been good to pick the smaller piece because then you've probably got more chance of lasting longer. So we've got this piece now. Hmm. I don't like this piece. I think... I think I'm going to go for this piece. I'm going to put it up at the top here. So I can probably still put some stuff around it. We're on the wrong side, really, aren't we? Because I'm left-handed and you're right-handed. Okay, next up. Just a straight three there. Or... I think I'm happy with this one. I'll just do this one along the top here. Well, this one across from the square would have been okay. Hey, okay. are you done already? Did you have a gap for that? Yeah. Okay, so now. So if I leave a two gap here, I could make this slot in quite nicely. Or I could just have it. Like if we mirror it, then I could have two and two, right? There we go. I am leaving this unfortunate gap here that's getting quite big now. And these particular pieces to be in it. There we go. There is a single block. And there's a two. A two would be quite nice for here. I think we've probably got a lot of shapes that would fit in those spaces, though. I'm just going to fill in this one here. Rach went for the one as well. And then we've got... Yeah, I don't really want the stairs. Like, you can race to the end if you think you're going to fill your grid up, though, because that just means you win if you're the first person to fill it up entirely. So I think another mirror. Okay, next. I don't like these. Oh, I could potentially... What if we put it at the bottom down here? Down... Two across, two up. That could be okay. Because that gap could be filled in by quite a few things. I 
because both of those options are quite big pieces. You know, I have massive green getting bigger and bigger. And Rach went for the other one. Next up, oh, this could fit in, but it would leave. I could, I could slot this one in, but it would leave a kind of gap there. There is a shape, I think, of exactly that size to go in there. Maybe not. No, there, there. There is that shape, but will it come out in time while, uh, while I'm still in the game? I think we could just keep it simple and just have one, two, three. There. Next. Oh, there's that piece as well. The exact piece I would have needed. So you've got, you've got to gamble. So I think we'll just have this one off in the corner. And this is where it all starts closing up. And you start really needing that second chance. Next up, another little L and a square. What should I have? And if I was if I was willing to make another gap, I could have the L there, or I could just have it. Yeah, let's let's have it like this. Just filling in a little bit of extra stuff here. We need some footage of like a squirrel or something to get the Bob Ross feel across. That's why he's doing these silent portions. And get Marty on. Yeah. Oh, big pieces. Oh, really big pieces. I can almost fit that in, but it, no, it doesn't. Yeah, these these are not nice pieces at all. I could do this one down here. I am making a gap. I don't think there was any way to draw either of these pieces, though, and not make a gap. So I think, yeah, we're back to two square gaps. But Rachel's got two square gaps. Oh, the way I was going to place one, it would have left that space. Should have gambled again. But look at this piece. Who's got space for that? Not me. I could fit it in, but I think I'm going to keep... Keep being a bit conservative with it. Let's just put the, the little three by one up there. Because, yeah, I would I would only really choose that piece if I was trying to finish my grid. And yeah, that's, that's going to need both of the other one by ones to come out. Okay. And, oh, wow. Fairly similar pieces again. I'm not entirely sure what to do because... Oh, this leaves another one gap. I think maybe I should have done that one and put it right in the corner. See how it turns out. So yeah, we're in quite similar positions though. I've maybe got a little bit more space than you in this corner. Okay, so will we need our second chance? No. <laughs> oh, there's both of them though. So nobody's filling in their squares. Nobody's filling in their grids this game. Well, I wasn't anyway, actually, because I left an another one. So no, can I, f I can fit that. Are you? Rach needs a second chance, so I'm I'm gonna just fill in my I will most likely need a second chance next turn. I think I'm out. So Rach looks at her second chance. Can she draw her second chance? No. No? So you would get to write a one in somewhere. Oh, no. But it doesn't really matter because that means I'm left standing and I win. And that's it. That's second chance. So by being the grand master of all things colours and shapes, I win second you didn't chance. You can use any colours. <laughs> I used the most powerful colour, light green. So that is Second Chance. If you'd like to see a similar game, we just did a playthrough for Patchwork Doodle. Or maybe we didn't, depending on when this goes up. 
We'll see. I'll make sure Patchwork Doodle goes if up not, first. Just wait in anticipation. Yeah, just wait a little bit for it. Yeah, nine by nine square ready. Yeah, if you'd like to see more, then there's hundreds of playthroughs on this channel. I'm sure you'll find some that you like. Tons of roll and write games and other stuff. Don't worry about it. Playthroughs are only possible though because of a Patreon campaign. If you'd like to help me keep making videos and have a say in what goes on in the channel and get rewards and stuff, your name will come up in a little bit if you're a patron. Well, a certain level of patron. Let's move on. This is the end of the video now. If you'd like to know what I think, it's in the description. And it's coming up in a link on the screen a little bit. Thank you for watching though. I'll see you for the next game. Bye. See ya.